Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta, I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Um, today I wanted to um, talk to you about magnesium and now the most popular video I've done uh, to date is uh, the video I did on magnesium and the benefits of magnesium and in particular the benefits of magnesium with heart rhythm disturbances, people who had ectopics etc. And by far the commonest question I get from people nowadays is what magnesium what dose of magnesium, which brand, can I take it with my beta blockers, can I take it with my anticoagulants, can I take it with this. So I thought I'd do a quick video on this, all right. Now, the first thing to say is that um, in terms of magnesium, the study that was done um, looking at how magnesium can help reduce ectopic heartbeats, PVCs, PACs, etc., was done with a formulation called magnesium pidolate, P-I-D-O-L-A-T-E. The problem is no one seems to make magnesium pidolate. It's incredibly difficult to find these days. And so a lot of people then say, well, you know, I can't find it. What, what can I take instead? And the truth is most magnesium formulations are fine. But what you want to do is you don't want to take some uh, preparation which contains zinc and vitamin D and magnesium and a bit of calcium, etc. You want something which is purely, uh, uh, which is uh, solely magnesium. Now, magnesium, you, you don't get just magnesium. You get magnesium bound with something else. So magnesium oxide, magnesium taurate, magnesium glycinate, magnesium orotrate, magne magnesium uh, Threotrate, magnesium aspartate, there are so many different formulations. So um, the first thing to say is that any of these um, are fine except perhaps magnesium oxide. The reason magnesium oxide is not recommended is because very little of what you take in is actually absorbed from your stomach. So only 4% of the magnesium that you're actually, magnesium oxide that you're taking in will be absorbed and therefore i would generally not recommend that you take magnesium oxide the interesting thing is that the commonest form of magnesium you will find in your supermarket is going to be magnesium oxide so i would urge you to be wary of buying magnesium oxide however other than that you can take any other form of magnesium such as magnesium glycinate magnesium citrate etc when i kept getting asked about which magnesium i recommend there was no real science behind this i just opted for one that I'd used in the past which was magnesium taurate and I'd used this in a few people and uh, they came back and they said they felt better so I ne normally recommend magnesium taurate 125 milligrams twice a day in the past I'd recommended a brand on Amazon called uh, by cardiovascular research uh, but unfortunately there, there were some concerns a lot of people said look you know one the prices are very high for this uh, agent and the second thing is that some people had read on an independent website that there were perhaps some concerns about this particular preparation uh, and then they so people said well what do you think you know what and my point is this you can choose any form of magnesium you have to be comfortable with what you're taking and of course I don't want uh, people to be out of pocket and spend an exorbitant amount on that particular preparation when you can get something cheaper so nowadays I just say try magnesium citrate 200 milligrams a day which you can buy from a health food shop in the UK we have Holland and Barrett and a lot of people can get magnesium citrate 200 milligrams daily uh, uh, from Holland and Barrett. Now there are some people who say look these are big tablets and I don't I find it difficult to swallow them. Well you can break open the capsule and just put the powder and drink the powder with a bit of water that's one option uh, but you can also get these sachets of magnesium called magnespartate magnesium aspartate and these are sachets that can actually you know it's a powder that you can mix in with your water and drink it and that's another way of doing it. In terms of um, side effects, the big problem is that magnesium can cause a runny stomach, particularly magnesium oxide. If you have a particularly sensitive stomach and you don't like the kind of loose stools that magnesium can cause, then you could try magnesium glycinate, which is considered one of the uh, most um, uh, least likely uh, form of magnesium to uh, cause a runny stomach. It is, however, very effective. Um, uh, for those people who can't tolerate oral magnesium full stop, then you can obviously try magnesium oil uh, and that can work as well. 
so I hope this was useful. Oh, the other question a lot of people ask is, can I take it with my beta blockers? Can I take it with my cardiac medications? And in my own experience, um, I've used it in patients who are on anticoagulants and I've used it on patients with beta block who are on beta blockers and ACE inhibitors and aspirin, etc. So, you know, I've never really shied away from using magnesium just because people are on other heart tablets. However, I would always recommend that you check with your own doctor first because he will know you, your case a lot better than me. Obviously, if you have bad kidney disease, then I just generally don't recommend it unless you have specific permission from uh, your local doctor. Uh, so I hope this answers some of the questions about magnesium. Um, and uh, as I said earlier, um, you know, sorry, I didn't say this earlier, but um, I will be, you know, I am very grateful for all the wonderful comments. A lot of people write to me, particularly from the States, and say, look, you know, we wish you were here. We could talk to you. We'd have loved to have talked to you. We'd have loved to come and see you and consult with you. Well, I am going to be in the States on the 4th and 5th of August this year, which is only a month away, 2018. Um, and I'll be offering free one-on-one -on -one consultations, okay? So these are not going to be at any cost to you. You can come ask me anything you want about your questions, and I can give you the advice to the best of my ability. So if you want to, uh, to um, take up this offer of a free consultation with me when I'm in New York, please visit www.hearthealthweekend.com. Okay, www.hearthealthweekend.com. Thank you so much. All the best.